solve the system by substitution. So we use the substitution method when we can isolate a variable. So in this problem right here, I have y isolated and I have y isolated. So now we have a couple options. I can either take this x minus 5 from the bottom and put it for y in the top, because after all, y's are the same. Or I can take this negative 4x from the top and put it in for y in the bottom. So I use arrows. Let me use my arrows. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and clarify that y equals negative 4x and y equals x minus 5. And what I'd like to do is I would like to go ahead and I'm going to take this quantity right here and I'm going to substitute it in for y right there because up here this equation says y equals negative 4x. So I'm going to put negative 4x in for y equals x minus 5. On the left I have an x term. On the right I have an x term and a constant term. You could put the number 1 in front there if you want, and I'll subtract 1x on both sides of the equation. It's going to cancel these terms here because they're opposites. Down comes negative 5, and negative 4x minus 1x is negative 5x. Then to get rid of that negative 5 that's in front of the x, we'll divide by a negative 5 on both sides. A negative 5 divided by negative 5 is positive 1. So these really cancel out, and then that's 1 times x, which just simplifies to x. Negative 5 divided by negative 5 is positive 1. Now at this point, since x is equal to negative 1, let me grab a different highlighter here. And so because x equals 1, I can put it 1 in for x here or here. But to me, I think this looks a little bit easier over there. So let's go ahead and switch colors switch over to red and I'm going to take this one right here and although I can put it into wherever I want I'm going to go ahead and put it back into the original one and then I'll just take this equation and rewrite it over here so I have y is equal to negative 4 parentheses again the parentheses represent where the variable x used to be but because we stated that x equals 1 I'm going to put 1 over here so that's really just negative 4 distributed to 1 I find out y is equal to negative 4. Now that we have our repair, I'm going to go ahead and put my x value first because alphabetically x comes before y. So that's 1 comma negative 4. And that will be our solution to this one. Now if you wanted to check it out, you could go ahead and plug in 1 and negative 4 into both equations and you could work it out just to be sure. But you don't have to.